Grant Lewis. I'm a senior engineering technologist here at Honeywell. And today, we're gonna to have a fun time in building penny boats. You may say penny boats, what is that and how fun is that? Well, I'm about to show you what that's gonna be about today. You may be stuck at home and find, trying to find something to do to stay busy and trying to find something in the world of science and engineering technology. Well, I think we have a little something that will be fun for you while you're at home and you can uh, have, watch the time to slip away as you get to have some fun doing some STEM activities. Today, we'll take some foil, we'll have uh, a tape measure, some scissors here, and a bag of pennies, and we're gonna uh, make, a, make a boat here that's gonna be able to see how many pennies we can put on top of the boat before it sinks. Let's get started. First of all, we'll take foil. 12 inches by 12 inches is gonna be our size. We wanna make sure that, that all the sizes are about the same in this competition with the boat. So 12 inches by 12 inches of pre-cut foil we'll have here. At this point, we'll take our time to design our boat. When you, when you design your boat, be very creative. Take this boat, this foil here, and come up with the structure you think is gonna be the best structure that's gonna hold the maximum amount of pennies. We'll take this foil here, we'll fold it a few different ways. And I'll tell you, there's no one way to do this. You're trying to, your job is trying to figure out the maximum amount. So you, you take it and build the structure you, the best way you think you can make it, that's gonna hold a lot of pennies. So we'll take this here and fold it up a little bit. Now, when we design, design our boat, we have to remember, we're trying to keep water out of the boat. So we have to make sure we have a structure that's going to not only hold pennies, but not sink as soon as it hits the water. So we're gonna make this structure here something pretty easy right here. All right. The rules are make a boat as, the, as you desire. Be very creative in that boat. What do you think is gonna be the best size and best structure to hold pennies? So, we come up with this structure right here. Not very big, but we think with something we could probably put, a, put together that's gonna help hold some pennies. So the next activity, part of activity is put it in the water. As you see here, the foil floats perfectly on the water. Nothing on there, it floats, it floats like it's supposed to. Uh, it's, not, it's not going anywhere. So it doesn't have any pressure pushing down it yet, all right? So, you take your pennies at this point and start dropping them in your boat. Now make sure you count them along the way. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Oh, there we go. Now, Here's the fun part of the activity. On the 24th penny, our boat sank. Now we've known what it took to, to make the boat sink on our first run through this. Our job through this, to make it fun, is trying to, each time we do this, is try to get the more maximum amount of pennies out. As you saw, this structure didn't hold up very well. And we can look at the way our structure was built. We can see as the pennies got in there and the weight got in there, the size of, of, our, of our boat it became compromised and the water overtook the sides of those and it began to sink. So now we know that design didn't work, so it's back to the drawing board. Now we want to take these pennies out and see if we can come up with a better structure that's gonna help hold more pennies. So now we come in with another piece of foil and say, hey, that small that design we did right there didn't work. Let me come up with something better. So now we want to come up with another design to help hold more pennies. And we don't realize the problem we had before was that the sides got compromised early. And just like any boat you're on the, on the water with, when the water comes over the sides and it comes inside, your boat, your boat becomes a bowl. And at that point, this pressure on that bowl comes down and it causes you to sink. That's what happened with our penny, penny boat here. So now we're gonna try to make a better one to hold more pennies. And I'm telling you, be very creative in your, in your design. Be very creative in your, in your boat because you just don't know what, you, what kind of boat you can make that's gonna hold the most amount of pennies. This would be a competition between you, brothers and sisters, mom and dad, uh, kids versus parents. It could be a lot of different ways you could do this. But who could come up with the best design to, come up to hold the most amount of pennies? So, as you go through this, you come up with different, different ways of doing it. Uh, small, big, wide, but there are different ways you can do this. And as you look at it, you wanna say, hey, I wanna get a boat that's gonna hold a lot of pennies, and how do I do that? And we'll just go with this here, just for time's sake. Just so we can kind of see something. And let's see what happens. 
two. Oh, that one didn't do so well. So as you see, there's different ways you can do it. This only holds eight pins this time. The last one holds 24. But I challenge you to get more than most of my pins in there and, and, and much trust you can make to make this thing work uh, better for you. I challenge you to, as you uh, make a bow design, add pennies, put your comments and pictures in, in, the, in, the, in our comments. Let us know how many pennies and what kind of bow design you did to make the maximum about and see wh who wins this competition. Have fun. It's a good way to take science into the household for just using some simple activities.